Are you an AI developer looking to offer your skills to startups and established businesses, but you're not sure what services to provide? You're in the right place if that is the case. In this video, we'll talk about the different types of AI services you can offer to your clients, discuss pricing strategies, and share some tips on how to find and close high value deals. Now let's dive into it. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icons to get new videos every week on these topics and more. So what are some in-demand services for AI developers? So the first one is chatbot development. Help businesses create conversational agents to improve their customer support and engagement. Here's an example project. Develop a customer support chatbot for an e-commerce website that can handle order inquiries, product recommendations, and frequently asked questions. Here's another example, recommendation systems. Develop systems that provide personalized recommendations for products, content, or services. An example project would be build a content recommendation engine for a streaming platform that suggests movies or TV shows based on user preferences and viewing history. The third example is natural language processing or NLP. So you could offer services like sentiment analysis, text classification, and language translation. An example project would be implement a sentiment analysis tool for a social media monitoring platform that tracks and analyzes customer feedback and opinions about a brand or product. The next example is computer vision. So enable clients to analyze and interpret images or videos for various applications such as object recognition and facial recognition. Example projects include create a security system for a retail store that uses facial recognition to identify and track suspicious individuals. The next example is predictive analytics. Help businesses make data-driven decisions by analyzing patterns and trends in their data. An example project would be develop a predictive model for a supply chain company to forecast demand and optimize inventory management. Here's another example, anomaly detection. Build systems that can identify unusual patterns or behaviors in data, which may indicate fraud, security breaches, or system errors. An example project would be design an anomaly detection system for a financial institution to identify fraudulent transactions in real time. The next example is my favorite one, it's speech recognition. Develop applications that can convert spoken language into written text or execute voice commands. An example project would be create a voice controlled virtual assistant for a smart home system that can control lights, temperature, and entertainment devices. Another example is AI powered automation. So help businesses streamline their processes and improve efficiency by automating tasks using AI algorithms. An example project would be implement an intelligent document processing system for an insurance company that can automatically extract and validate information from client claim forms. The next example is for healthcare. So AI in healthcare, apply AI techniques to medical imaging, diagnostics, drug discovery, and personalized treatment plans. An example project would be develop a machine learning model to analyze medical images and identify early signs of diseases such as cancer and heart conditions. The next one I'm very familiar with is AI for marketing. So use AI algorithms to optimize marketing campaigns, analyze customer data, and improve targeting and personalization. Example project would be build a customer segmentation tool for an online retailer that uses machine learning to identify customer pers personas and create targeted marketing campaigns. So as for pricing, consider the following pricing strategies. First, you determine your hourly rate based on current rate on Upwork.com, your skills, experience, and the market demand for your services. Then another one is offer project-based pricing to give clients a clear understanding of the total cost involved, as long as the scope doesn't change, of course. And another one, uh, which is probably one that you'll want to use with everything is value-based pricing. Basically, you need to understand the client's goals and the value your service brings to their business. And then the price is based on the value that is being brought, not what your normal hourly rate is. Now let's talk about the most important thing according to most people. <laughs> let's talk about getting clients. So focusing on Upwork.com can be an effective way to find high value AI development projects. Here are some tips to help you succeed on this platform. One, create a compelling profile. Your profile is your online resume. So make sure it showcases your skills, experience, and expertise in AI development. I do say it's a resume, but if you really want to know how to write it with an example, simply click on the link in the description where I go through an Upwork profile writing process. Basically, you need to include professional looking photos, 
a strong title and overview with keywords, a detailed list of your skills, and a portfolio with relevant past projects or current ones you're working on for yourself to, you know, get started with proof. Another thing you need to do at Upwork is complete Upwork tests. So taking and scoring well in Upwork tests related to AI development can demonstrate your proficiency in specific skills that improve your profile's visibility to potential clients. Then you need to set a competitive rate. Research the rates of other AI developers in Upwork with similar skills and experience to help you set a competitive hourly rate. Keep in mind that you gain more positive feedback and build your reputation as time progresses and then you can gradually increase your rate. That doesn't mean you start at a low rate. It simply means that that you need to look at where you live and how much clients are willing to pay for developers in those areas. And then you could set your rate based on that, but don't set your rate in the bottom 45%. Then you need to be selective when applying for jobs on Upwork. Focus on applying for high value projects that match your skills and interests. Read the job description carefully and avoid applying to projects with unrealistic budgets or unclear requirements. That being said, the budget that people tell you they have on Upwork is rarely the real budget. They just enter a random number. So don't read too much into the stated number that is on the project. They need to write tailored proposals based on what people have written in the job description. So when submitting proposals for AI development projects, make sure to address the specific need of the client. Explain how your skills and experience make you the best fit for a project or your agency, if you're running an agency instead of doing just freelancing. Then you provide examples of similar work you've done in the past. A well-crafted proposal can significantly increase your chances of being hired. If you wanna see an example of how this is done, there's a video link in the description on how to write proposals. The way Upwork works is there's a long lasting reputation you're building over time. So make sure to deliver high quality work and maintain clear communication with your clients. This will help you build a strong reputation, receive positive feedback, which is the indication of your reputation, and increase your chances of being hired for future high value projects. Basically, you need to maintain your job success score. Upwork uses job success score to rank freelancers, so it's crucial to maintain a high score. Achieving a high job success score can make or break your profile and make you eligible for top rated status as well. Uh, how to get top rated is explained in their documentation. You can simply Google this. Basically, it makes your profile more visible to clients and increases your chances of being hired for high value projects by a lot. Then you need to leverage Upwork specialized profiles feature, create a specialized profile that highlights your expertise in different areas of AI development, such as NLP, computer vision, and predictive analytics. This allows you to target specific niches and attract high value clients looking for specialized AI services. Next up is actually closing the deal because once you have clients coming in or leads coming in for Upwork, you need to actually make sure they're paying you money. So here's how you can close a deal. Offer a free consultation to discuss their needs and how you and your services can help them. Then present a detailed proposal outlining the scope of work, timeline, and pricing. Of course, they can pay for this proposal. It doesn't have to be free work if it requires research. Then you can emphasize the value and return on investment that your services will bring to the client's business and address any concerns or objections the client may have uh, and be prepared to negotiate the terms of the agreement. But, you know, don't negotiate the price too much. That really lowers the value of what you're offering in, in the client's eyes if you're very flexible in pricing. So as an AI developer, you have have the opportunity to provide valuable services to startups and established businesses alike. By understanding the different types of AI services, you can offer pricing services effectively and implementing strategies to find and close high value deals, you can build a successful AI development business. If you have any questions or need additional guidance, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. The next video below in the description will help you get started with an agency or as a freelancer on Upwork. Click it and we'll go from there.